guys, it's Spence. In this installment, I want to go over some of the tools that we're going to want you to acquire and put into your toolkit when working with WordPress. Now, thankfully, WordPress is open source software. So all the things I'm going to describe, describe for you right now are free and easily available anywhere on the internet. So let's start with the basics. And then as we go along through this series, I'm going to give you more detailed things that you can download to help you in your endeavors to basically learn the business of WordPress. All right, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is open up a screen below and show you where to find WordPress and how to get it started. So let's take it away to the screencast. OK, so let's start with our toolkit. Obviously, since this is the business of WordPress, we're going to start with WordPress. One of the things that's confusing to some people is that there's a difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com. Now, the software underlying it is the same open source WordPress code. However, WordPress.com is the business end of the company named Automatic, and that's where they have the ability for people to get free hosted blogs as well as for people to uh, pay them for premium services. That is not what you want as a developer because there's a lot of limitations to using that. And although you can probably pick up some clients here and there, the clients there would have to pay a premium price in order to be able to even get to the CSS. So for the purposes of all my tutorial videos, I'm talking about WordPress.org. And that's where you can go and find out more about WordPress, as well as being able to download right here from the front the code base. Now, the question immediately comes up that I want to answer. Where are we going to host the WordPress code in order to begin experimenting and learning about it? Well, that's pretty easy, too. You have really two main choices. You can do desktop development, which is free and fast and easy and allows you to play a lot with what we're talking about. And that's probably your first option. The second option is there's a ton of really inexpensive hosting where you can have it live on a server and for about five bucks a month, for example, using Bluehost or HostGator or a number of other ones, be able to actually work with the code live on a web server that's accessible from your mobile device or from your desktop or from a laptop. And this has certain advantages, including the fact that because it's live data, you can see the real results on any device. Whereas when you're doing desktop development, you can't. Either way, the choice is yours. Now, what's relevant about this is that whether you go with a host like Bluehost or you go with a desktop installed version for desktop development, my favorite being Bitnami, either way, WordPress comes pre-installed or as a part of a, a quick installer package. So even though you can always get the code back at WordPress.org, you probably won't need to do so because there's an installer here through Softaculous or an installer here through their built-in package. Now, another tool that's going to be absolutely essential is called Firebug. That Firebug is going to allow us to do the things like an x-ray machine does for a doctor. We're going to be able to immediately see inside of the document uh, object model, inside of the structure of how we built the pages, to see how the CSS, which is cascading style sheets, can be manipulated in order to make things look beautiful. Now, I'm imagining most of you have some background doing a little bit of web development and design. Maybe you've worked with Dreamweaver before. Uh, almost assuredly, you've worked with some of the Adobe products like Photoshop, uh, etc. This is going to be a new experience for you because most everything we do here is going to be manipulating code. Even though you're not a coder, I assure you, you're going to be able to do some pretty cool stuff with CSS. But in order to get into the guts, we're going to need Firebug, like a doctor needs an x-ray machine to see what the code is doing. Next, we need a text editor. Now, again, depending on what machine you're on, if you're on a PC or a Mac, you can go with lots of choices. One of the more popular and really powerful is Sublime Text. It's available uh, at sublimetext.com, and these uh, URLs will be in the show notes. This is so powerful because it's really specifically made for people who are doing this kind of work. And it's free to download, and you can try it for as long as you want. It's kind of on an honor system for the trial. And then you can buy it very inexpensively for a few bucks. And it's a really good investment if you're going to do this for a living because of all the powerful features. Um, I am not preferential, though. You could use Smoltron. You can use a number of other types of text editors, whatever your favorite. Lastly, we need an FTP client. Now, you could go online and use an online web browser base, or if you're on PC, you can use FileZilla. I happen to think CyberDoc is a very good one. I use Transmit myself. Whatever your preference, these are the core tools we need. All right, WordPress, a hosted environment, Firebug, a text editor, and an FTP program. Kind of like a carpenter needs a hammer and a saw and some nails and maybe a, 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 a tape measure. 
These are the things that are going to be used again and again and again and again. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you what's the difference between going with a hosted environment to work on or a desktop version to work on. Both of them have their merits and both of them will be useful to you, so you might be able to use both of them. But I'm going to save that for the next video. Until then, if you have any questions or comments, please, I love your feedback here on this series, please comment below and tell me what you liked, you didn't like, what you want to see. Until then, this is Spence, the evil genius. We'll see you next time.